welcome to our Blue Coat virtual open evening. Every year we love open evening, welcoming hundreds of parents and children onto our school site. And this year's slightly different, we're virtual for the first time, so we're just going to try and capture some of the magic of that evening in a slightly different way. Um, Blue Coat is a fabulous place to be, it's a school that I love being head teacher of. And just over the next few minutes I'm going to share why it is that Blue Coat is so special. Now our vision is very clear, we want all children to live life in all its fullness. That means a rich life at school, different subjects, different experiences, the family all together, the Blue Coat family, and those highs and those lows experienced together. And we want to equip our students to live life in all its fullness by providing an excellent education, which is distinctively Christian, but inclusive of all. And for us, at the heart of that sits our school values. Those values of care, hard work, respect, integrity, servanthood and togetherness. And over the next few minutes, I'm just going to share with you the life of our school through the lens of the values that we hold so dear here at Blue Coat. Because it's those school values that make our school unique and special and different to any other. So our first value is that of care. We have a strong pastoral care that runs throughout the school. Through our house system, where students are divided into different houses with different figures that demonstrate the values of our school. We have a full-time chaplain, that's Lou Pete, who supports the children and helps them with any difficulties that they may have. And in fact, Lou, as a qualified GP, also leads on our mental health initiative across the school looking after all our children and making sure that they're ready to learn. We have an on-site counsellor, parental support programmes, and at the heart of everything we do are staff that go above and beyond to support all of our children. And when we look at our school and the activities that we do, we're promoting care across the many things that we uh, experience at Blue Coat School. So one of the ways in which our school demonstrated care over the last few years has been our work with the charity people and our partnership with the Cotton Tree School in Liberia. This is part of the Concrete Foundation. And because of the work that Blue Coat students and staff did, we were able to support this school uh, to train teachers, to provide water, to buy furniture, and to educate children who hadn't had the opportunity to go to school. And in fact, over the past four years, our work with them has been so successful that this school is now a self-sustaining organisation in its own right. And in fact, now we've been asked to work with a different school in Kenya, the Uzumatali Primary School Partnership. And we're excited once again to be able to see the difference that our students and staff can make. And those big school initiatives are exciting and energetic and vibrant, but often it is the everyday things that we see demonstrated by our students in school that make all the difference. And in fact, last Christmas when we were going to the cathedral, I received an email from um, a member of the public to tell me about uh, one of the ways our children had shown care. In fact, her, her father had been recently bereaved and he lived by himself and every morning he would watch the Blue Coat children as they came to school. And as they came to school, they would wave and he'd wave back and the day passed and the weeks passed and this continued. And just on the last day, as those students walked to school, one of those children actually gave um, that man a box of chocolates and a Christmas card. And for him, when he spoke to his daughter and he shared that story with her, that made such a massive difference to him and his life. Somebody who was frequently alone, didn't have as much contact as he would like, but the fact that one of our children cared and demonstrated that school value on that level, on a personal way, made such a big difference to him. And that's the sort of children here at Blue Coat we're trying to develop. And our second value, hard work. Now we can dress up hard work in lots of different words. We can talk about resilience and perseverance. But with our children, we talk about hard work. It's about the effort you put in and then the outcomes that you get out. 
And in the past five years since I've been head teacher, I have been delighted every single year with the results that our students have achieved, both at GCSE and at sixth form level. Consistently placing us as one of the top schools in Coventry and further afield, with students going on to some fabulous destinations, often to Oxford and Cambridge, to high level apprenticeships, and also to the world of work. And behind those wonderful statistics, I won't go through them all, but behind all of those statistics are our children. Our children who are working continually, persevering and demonstrating that value of hard work. Uh, these three students here that you can see, James, Kimothy and Abby, all of them went off to study medicine at university. And one of the stories that I like to share uh, with students, that I shared quite often in assemblies last year, um, was a student who didn't necessarily go off to university, wasn't the person that was top of his class, and in fact actually had struggled quite a lot with the work that he was trying to complete. But through sheer perseverance, through hard work, through commitment, doing his best day in, day out, when that student came to take their GCSE English language exam in year 10, they are awarded a grade six. And the students in the class celebrated, the staff celebrated, because that was above the expectations that anybody had. And it was the clear hard work that that child had put in that came with those results at the end. And our next value is that of respect. Now, respect is really important. Whichever school you went to or chose to send your child to, everybody would say that treating one another with respect, students, teachers, staff, everybody involved in the school community is really important. And here at Blue Coat, we're very much about demonstrating and role modeling that respect that we want to see. We work closely with students and we work closely with staff using our peer support systems, our ambassadors to support children who may be struggling, and having an approach whereby when things don't always go according to plan and students may have made wrong choices or wrong decisions, that we can put that back together and we can learn. We have a restorative justice approach whereby we look at what has happened, we reflect on it, and we make sure that we do better next time. And for some children, it's harder than others uh, to make the right choices, but we always have support in place to ensure that that actually happens. And on a whole school level, we work closely with the community. We work with the cathedral, particularly uh, on the theme of peace and reconciliation and the respect that comes from that. And particularly this year, we were really pleased with one of our students, this is Rosie, uh, who actually won a national competition writing about respect and justice in the competition for Show Racism, the red card. And once again, we see our students thriving and, and succeeding at that national level. But yet again, it comes back to what we see every single day in school. And I'm reminded of when I uh, took a visitor uh, around the school quite early in the morning, it was about half past eight. And as we walked around the school, my visitor from the local authority um, was walking down the central area of the school. And as we approached the building, uh, one of the year 11 boys came, uh, rushed to the door and opened it up for her. And she turned to me and said, you know, I, I haven't experienced that. It's not many schools you go into now where students will open the door and make you feel so welcome. And for me, that's our Blue Coat students, students living out every day our school values, values like respect. And our next school value is integrity. So we teach our children to be people that have integrity to think about the sort of person that they are and the sort of person that they are becoming. Are they honest? Do they do the right thing even when no one is looking? Do they live out their values in relationships with other people? Can people trust them? Can their friends trust them? And at a whole school level, we were delighted when our students uh, were the ambassadors for the Anne Frank exhibition. This is a national exhibition uh, that tours the country and a selection of our students um, were trained up to present this, not just to their peers in school, uh, but to other schools across the city. Uh, you can see in this photo here, this is Cormac, who was one of our Anne Frank ambassadors, who was so skillfully able 
uh, to understand the integrity that Anne Frank showed and to communicate that not just to his peers, but also to the younger children from the primary schools who visited. And it's those things, those, that real development of students and children as they move through the school that Blue Coat is all about. And again, it's the little things. It's the year 11 student last year, Calvin, who came to me first thing in the morning, bringing me a credit card he'd found on the floor. It's the student that finds five pound note uh, in the playground and again takes it to reception. Those are the things that are important to us here at Blue Coat. And our fifth value, that of servanthood. And I always say to the students that this is my absolutely favorite value because I became a teacher and particularly a head teacher so that I could serve the community to make a difference to people, uh, not just in school, but to families and further afield. And we say to our students, it's about serving one another. We serve at each other, we serve the teachers, our parents, the school community and the wider whole community as a school. And this was a particularly delightful moment last year uh, when our students worked with other students across the city, uh, students from Seba School and Eden School, working together uh, on a project for the homeless. In fact, creating a recipe uh, for a rather delicious soup and then creating that, making that together and working with the local homeless charities to ensure that those people were fed. And for us, that's what school life is about. It's absolutely about how you are developing and what you can do to use your skills, your talents and your abilities to serve one another and not just yourself. And our final value, our value of togetherness. Blue Coat is such a fabulous place to be because we have such a diverse and unique school community. Every race, every religion truly represented across our school community. And that value of togetherness brings that diversity together into one item, one aspect, which is the Blue Coat family. At the heart of that are our relationships with parents and the key members of staff that create that sustainable relationship. Our form tutors, our heads of house, our heads of department, all of us working together in the larger school community and family. And by working together, we truly know and understand how we can live life in all its fullness, celebrating all our values of care, hard work, respect, integrity, servanthood and togetherness. And I'm just going to leave you with this photograph. This photograph um, is the Blue Coat family at the cathedral. So once a year, every year, always at Christmas, uh, we gather together as a school family, as a school community. And I have the greatest privilege to stand at the front of the cathedral and to look out at 1,500 or so faces looking back at me. And it's then that I really see that togetherness. The unique abilities, the diversity, the abilities, the strengths of all of our children and staff that make Blue Coat such a wonderful place to be. And so finally, we very much hope that you uh, take a tour through our different videos that you can find um, on the website and you consider whether this is the right place for you to be as a student and for, for you as a parent to choose. Please do take note of our admissions policy, uh, in particular the order in which uh, preference is given and ensure that you have looked at that quite carefully in case you do need to fill in a supplementary form in order to be eligible for admission. So I'm going to leave it there now. That's uh, my talk to you. Uh, I very much hope that I get to meet you all in person very soon. And please make sure that you look at the rest of the videos to see what a wonderful place Blue Coat is to be. Thank you.